Hi everyone, I'm Ruth Brown. And I'm John Ennis. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the week 2 20 Charleston recap from April 2014 here in Richmond, Virginia at Ella Thompson's local market. So, uh, Ruth, what did we do? So, we first started off the class uh, working some more on our twisties. And uh, this time we practiced traveling our twisties forward. And then we traveled our twisties backwards. Um, and we worked on the rhythm of the twisties of one, two, three, four, five, six, with our heels going down every time. One, two, three, four, and then we skip that, really emphasizing the two. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we did that. Uh, we also worked on, uh, after we worked a little bit on the, um, the traveling piece forward and backwards, we worked on then turning it back and forth and moving. Right, walking around, yeah. And two positions to practice that are very helpful are doing twisties, not just in the V, like Ruth was saying, one, two, that's good, but it's also good to practice in these kind of offset Vs, where now my left foot is bisecting my uh, right foot like this, or, and obviously practice with your head up. And then also practicing in the other position because those are the positions you'll find yourself in when you're walking. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Or backwards, you're gonna be in those positions as well. And then turning, that's just a skill you've got to develop. So you can work on, uh, let's say, so if I was walking forward, Practice that. Okay, good at it. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we worked on uh, some partnering skills, and so the main ones here were just starting. That is nice in Charleston since we're going to be touching. It's nice to give the followers some momentum first. So a good idea is to start actually on seven eight. Here I can notice that I've got the group is on her right foot. I'm on my left foot. And so uh, the leaders are setting the follows on their right foot. Right. And so now I'm going to lead her forward. On seven, eight. Seven, eight. One, two, three, five, seven. So that gives uh, Ruth some feeling that to go this way. And then Ruth, you talked to Paula's about thinking about stepping instead of touching. Yeah, so um, in general, what I'm thinking about is I'm always continuing the, the direction that the leaders um, start me. So when he starts me going forward, um, or starts going forward, I'm assuming that we're just going to continue to step forward until he stops me, and that's why I touch. And in the same way, going backwards, I'm assuming I'm always going backwards until he stops me, and that's what creates the touch. But I'm always assuming it's gonna be a step. And then that way, um, when he does stop me, there's a nice compression and a nice stretch, and it has a nice kind of bouncy, like wormy feeling, mm -hmm. um, and it's very much more dynamic. Right, absolutely. And the last thing was that we talked about, I can also have start on my right foot, reach on my left foot, and I go forward on seven, eight. Seven, eight, one, two, three, five, seven. Then we're touching also on one, but this time just on the other foot. That's all it is. So um, I think that was it. So practice that stuff and practice your twisties, and we'll see you next time.